He who began a good work. He who began a good work. That is the title of my message. He who began a good work. Ukiwa na Biblia yako, tunaweza fungua kitabu cha Philippians chapter 1 and verse 3. The Bible says, I thank my God every time I remember you in all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Verse 6, very important. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Bwana sifuwe sana. Nimesema ujube wangu ni he who began a good work. Na ninataka tuangalie maneno haa ya poor. Ni maneno mazito ambayo anayo ya ongea. In Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. Anaongea maneno mazito. Anasema ya kwamba I am confident. Bwana sifuwe sana. Unajua language ambayo mutu anatumia kisema kitu. Ni very important kuyangalia. Paul anasema ya kwamba I am confident. Sibahatishi. Anasema ya kwamba, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Paul alikuwa anasema, niko na ujasiri. Ha? Ama, ni naro liyamini ndilo hili ya kwamba alianza kazi njema. Alikuwa na ujasiri ya kwamba huyu mungu ambaye ameanza kazi njema ndani ya maisha yenu, ataimaliza. Bwana asifue sana. Praise the name of the living God. Wapendwa, nataka kutangazia kwamba kuna kazi njema mungu wa meanza ndani ya maisha yako. Kuna kazi njema mungu wa meanza katikati yetu. Praise the name of the living God. Na ye alianza kazi hiyo njema, bibine na tuakishia kwamba yeye ataimaliza. Tutaangalia mambo yale ambayo yanasaidia mungu kumaliza hiyo kazi, lakini jambo la kwanza ni kuwa na uhakikisho ya kwamba alie anza kazi njema ataimaliza. Jina abana ipewe sifa. Na diposa ni very important. Katika maisha ya huduma, na maisha ya mkristo, it is very very important to separate the process from the events. Even a Sunday service is an event. Bwana sifuwe sana. Kwa sababu siyo kumanisha kwamba mungu tu anafanya kazi wakati wa ibada ya jumapiri. Mungu anafanya kazi kila siku. Na kwa hivyo, kuelewa kwa kila moja wetu ya kwamba there is a process, there is a work, a continuous work ambayo inaendelea ndani kazi, inaendelea ndani ya maisha yetu. Pengine kuna mtu wali ya muka anasema wa, leo ni jumapiri, wacha tuene tukaombe. Waita tuwene tukajia chirie kwa mungu. And then jumapiri ikiisha, unaendelea na life ya kawaida. Nataka ni kuambia kwamba, ibada ya jumapiri ni event. Wana sifuwe sana. Event inaweza kuwa na mambo special. Kama vile, unaweza kuwa na chakura speciali, wakati wa sikuku, wakati wa arusi. Lakini siyo kumanisha kwamba unakuranga tu wakati kuna arusi. Siyo kumanisha huwa unakura wakati kuna event. Even other days of your life, you still eat. Na kwa hivyo, we don't allow God to work in our lives when there is an event. Every day of our lives, we should allow God to continue working in us and within us. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And people who are going through a process, they can confidently say, don't judge me. Because of the way I am today. Praise the name of the living God. Don't judge me because of the way I am today. Why? I am still in the process. Uh, tomorrow will be better than today. And the process uh, is more important uh, than the events. Bonus persona. The process is more important than the events. It is more imp- what God is doing in your life is more important than coming to a Sunday service. Najua wengine Sunday service ndio ya maana sana na razima uje hapa umwabudu Mungu. Ni vizuri. 
Lakini ningetaka kusema ya kwamba kuna kitu cha muhimu kuliko kuja kanisa Jumapili. And that is why in leadership especially in the church there are things sometimes you it's like you ignore them. You know they are there. You know there are challenges the way people are working there are issues to be dealt with in the church but sometimes you know we are in a process and when people are going through a process uh, there are things as they continue going through the process uh, they are going to be done away with them praise the name of the living god kuna mambo unaweza jaribu kuyashughulikia sasa ya kusumbua muda mrefu kumbe ungekubalia watu endelee na process wataondoka katika ile hali ya kutojua hali ile ya utoto hali ile ya kungana na mambo fulani wataiwacha praise the name of the living god na kesho yao itakuwa bora praise the name of the living god i have come to declare to you that your tomorrow will be better than today because we are going through a process he who began a good work in me will bring it to completion even for the day of our lord jesus christ he is not yet done with me hey people may say i am a good preacher but one thing i know he is not yet done with me people may say you are a good singer but he is not yet done with you people may think you are a good intercessor but he is not yet done with you people may see your prophetic gift but he is not yet done with you but he has begun a good work in you and you see why people stagnate and some fall is because some people are left celebrating an event they forget that they are still in the process Ndiposa Yesu wakati wanafunzi wake walikuja wamefufua wafu wameponya wagonjwa wametoa mapepo wakakuja wamefurahi kwa sababu ya event Yesu akawaambia msifurahi kwa sababu mmetoa mapepo msifurahi kwa sababu mmefufua wafu lakini furahini majina yenu yameandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima na nimeona shetani amepita kama umeme. Kwa hivyo Yesu alikuwa anawaambia, don't forget that you are in a process. Don't forget that you are in a journey. People who celebrate the events in their lives and they forget they are in a process, they can easily fall. They can easily stagnate in their lives. Waachwe wakifurahia, unajua vile Mungu alitutumia, unajua vile tulifanya, unajua vile nilihubiri, unajua vile nilifanya hii. Una celebrate event, unasahau ya kwamba Mungu sio Mungu wa events peke yake, Mungu ni Mungu wa process. Kuna kazi njema ameanza ndani yako na anataka kuendelea kufanya hiyo kazi. Praise the name of the living God. And that is why you know there are some people who have a problem they judge themselves very harshly praise the name of the living god yani kuna watu hujihukumu sana wanasema mimi nakaa hivi hata ona vile nimefanya hivi hata yani wanajihukumu sana hata wakipatiwa nafasi pengine alikuwa anapatiwa nafasi ya ongoze wimbo anaona hakufanya vizuri anasikia vibaya kwa sababu amesikia haku deliver kuna mahali ya kufikia wacha mpendwa nikwambie tumeishi hayo maisha maisha ya kusikia kwamba si kufikia mahali ningetaka ni kama si kufanya vile nilivyotarajiwa but one thing i have I, i have come to run in my life i should not judge myself so harshly because he who began a good work in me praise the name of the living god is still at work in my life I am still in the process of his making. Sometimes utafanya makosa hapa, ufanye makosa pale, uone haukuongea vizuri, uone pengine mahali ulipatiwa kutoa ushuhuda. Bwana asifiwe sana. Badala ya kutoa maneno, ulimeza maneno mengine. Ulijaribu maneno inatoka inakataa kutoka. Unajaribu kutoa ushuhuda mpaka jina yako mwenyewe unasahau. Unasema oh ninaitwa jina yako mwenyewe unasahau. Praise the name of the living God. Ukitoka hapo unaweza you can judge yourself harshly, but remember he who began a good worker is still at work in your life. 
praise the name of the living God. The most important thing for each one of us is to remember that there is one who began a good work in us. And the best we can do, the greatest service we can offer to him is our ability to yield to him. Is our ability to open our lives to him. There is no need for you to judge yourself so harshly. The best you can do is to yield your heart to him. To yield your life to him. And tell God, continue molding my life. You are the potter. I am the clay. Praise the name of the living God. And I am in your hands. Continue molding my life. Continue molding my calling. Continue molding my ministry. Praise the name of the living God. Because I know my tomorrow will be better than today. There is no problem with feeling bad. Because you should not be satisfied. Otherwise you become a mediocre. But there is that understanding. Because number one. For God to begin the good work he be began in you, uh, number one, it is your ability to yield to him. There are people who cross their hearts. Sometimes you find, even God speaking to us, that he desires us to open our hearts to him, to surrender our hearts to him. Because there is no way God can work in your life when you have crossed him out. Na kuna watu ufungia mungu inje. Wakati bibi nesema anabisha katika mlango. Habishi tu kwa sababu wewe haumjui kristo. Tunafikiria neno hili nila wenye dhambi peke yake. Tunafikiria sisi kwetu sasa habishi. Lakini kuna wakira wakati mungu anabisha katika mlango wa maisha yako. Anataka aingie, aendere kumaliza kazi njema alio yanza. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And sometimes kuna wakati unaweza kusikia Mungu anabisha na unasikia ni kama kuna neema ya kuomba ni kama kuna neema tu ya kujifungua pengine we hauko umepanga wakati huo wacha nikwambie mpendwa any time he knocks on the door of your heart open your life to him do you know that god does not care about your weaknesses bwana asifiwe sana unajua Mungu hajari juu ya kasoro zako Hajari juu ya udhaifu wako. Ha? Uje kwake uwe umefungwa. Uwe umeokoka na ulikuwa unatumia madawa ya kulevia. Ulikuwa mlevi wa pombe wa changa. Ulikuwa Mungu wa hiyo that's not a problem to God. The only one thing he desires from you is your ability to tell him have your way in my life. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Na diposa wakati watu wa dini walifungia Yesu mioyo yao Mungu akawa Yesu akawaambia makahaba na walevi wataingia katika ufalme wa Mungu bere yao bere yenu there are people who have a holier than thou attitude wanahisi ya kwamba ni kama mimi niko sawa hakuna kazi nahitaji sana kufanyiwa ni wengine Bwana asifiwe sana. Hapo ndio unaweza kuta mtu amekuja kanisani, alikuwa mbaya sana, alikuwa kahaba, alikuwa mlevi, ajiachilie, uone Mungu ameanza kumtumia na ameacha mtu ambaye amekaa kanisani siku nyingi. Apitwe. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. God allows overtaking in the church. Praise the name of the living God. And today I release the overtaking grace in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Paul said in Philippians 3.13, he said, Know that I have been made perfect. Paul, he was a spiritual giant to the Philippians. He was an apostle. Bona sifuwe sana. But he understood, I am still in the process of his making. Praise the name of the living God. He understood very well that I am still in the process of his making. Do you know why so many people are stagnant today? Even ministers of the gospel? Many people are stagnant because they are not part of the process. They are now part of the event. Hey, mimi sasa ni itwe ni kahubiri. Mahali kuna mkutano. Praise the name of the living God. Mahali kuna kazi ya kufanya. Lakini mambo ya kufanyiwa kazi aliyacha. 
na mwenye alianza kazi anasema hiyo kazi niliyoanza ndani yenu bado nataka kuimaliza the structure of your life may be there the structure of your calling may be there praise the name of the living god unaweza kuwa unajua tayari Mungu amenitia nini the structure is there lakini there is work that, that need to be done in that structure so that the beauty and the glory of the structure may be made manifest praise the name of the living god hallelujah my question is how far are you going to be able to yield to god utaweza kujiachilia kwa Mungu mpaka wapi wengine huwa tunajiachilia kwa Mungu mpaka tupate title na hiyo ndiyo shida tulio nayo kanisani ya kwamba watu wengi wamejipata tu kanisani bila kuzaliwa tena. Praise the name of the living God. They were not regenerated, they were not born again. Na diposa utu wa kale bado unasumbua watu wengi katika nyumba ya Bwana. Yule mzee wa kale, ule utu wa kale kwa sababu haukuvuliwa. Bado unawasumbua bado unawafuata na hasa shida walio nayo ni ya kwamba ni watu wakubwa hawawezi kutokea kwa otakor praise the name of the living god watatokeaje waonekane wametokea pale mbele praise the name of the living god hallelujah do you know i have worked with the people ministers ambao nimeona wakikuliwa na kiburi nikiona walimalizwa tu na kiburi ati kwa sababu Mungu ameenda mahali ametutumia ama amekutumia sasa unaanza kujisikia kama wewe ni mtu mkubwa Bwana asifiwe sana Do you know the, the gift of God in you can still work even when there are so many imperfections in your life Bwana asifiwe sana The operation of a gift in your life does not mean that you have character Character is something you have to work on You have to labor for the fruit. There is a process for you to get a fruit. A fruit is not like a gift. Gift unaweza kukuja hapa na upatiwe gift na uende naye. Lakini fruit ndio upate mtu uweze kuzaa matunda. It is a process. Bwana asifiwe sana. And so we should labor for the fruit. We should labor to see that God is at work in our lives so that he can be able to mold us and cause us to be the kinds of vessels that he desires to be. That is why in the church today people rise to a certain position then they come down. Because the many they are rising and they forget ya kwamba kuinuliwa kwako sio kumaanisha wewe ni mkamilifu. Kutumiwa kwako sio kumaanisha wewe ni mkamilifu. Unatumiwa ndio lakini kubali uendelee kufanywa kazi. Praise the name of the living God. Hata kama unatumiwa na Mungu, unatembea katika unyenyekevu, unamwambia Bwana endelea kunifanyia kazi. So number one, it is yielding to God. For God to finish the good work that he began in your life, you are ability to yield to him. Number two, having the knowledge of what God has begun in your life knowledge the bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge the bible says because the priest rejected knowledge god will also reject them bwana asifiwe sana kile kinaweza kunisaidia kuendelea kujiachilia kwa mungu bwana asifiwe sana ni kwa sababu you have a picture sisi wakati tumejua kutoka kwa roho wa mungu because i believe the holy spirit is the architect of the church Anasema nitengee Paul na Barnabas kwa sababu ya kazi nimewaitia. Yeye yeah, anajua kazi ambayo Mungu anataka uifanye. Wakati tuko na information, wakati tuko na ufahamu wa kujua hivi ndivyo Mungu anataka kunitumia. Kuwa na hiyo knowledge kunafanya uendelee kunyenyekea na kujiachilia kwa Mungu. You know there are people who don't know where they are coming from and where they are going. And that is one big problem even with the whole church when the church does not understand where we are coming from as a church and where we are going what are the prophecies concerning the church today what is god desire 
for the church today. Thank God for where we have come from. But what are the prophecies of the hour? What does God say concerning the latter glory of the church? Dio tukiangalia kanisa tusije tukatosheka kwa sababu sisi tuko na maarifa na tunajua kanisa mahali inaenda. Mungu aliwaambia wana wa Israeli, inchi hii sitawapa kwa mwaka mmoja. Lakini nitawapa kidogo kidogo. Lakini akawaambia, nimeweka mpaka wenu. Praise the name of the living God. I have set your borders. Do you know where your borders are? Your spiritual boundaries. Your financial boundaries. The boundaries of your calling. Do you know where your boundaries are? Je, wewe unajua mipaka yako mahali iko? Unajua mahali Mungu anataka akufikishe? Because when you have the understanding that I don't belong here, I thank God for what he has done. I thank God for what I have achieved. I thank God for every blessing in my life, but I don't belong here. Praise the name of the living God. There is still a higher level for me. There is somewhere that God is taking me. I am still in the process. Praise the name of the living God. May your inner eyes be opened up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the living God. Number three, number one, I've said it's your ability to yield. Number two is the knowledge about what God is doing in your life. Praise the name of the living God. And number three, for God to continue doing the good work in your life, it is your availability. Your availability. Availability. Kubuka vile yesu, alivyo muambia Martha. Martha, Martha, unasumbuliwa na mambo mengi. Lakini jambo moja ndiyo linaro itajika. Na Mary has chosen the best part. There are two parts of ministry. One part is to be at the feet. The other part is to serve. And Jesus said, Mary has chosen the best part. And what she is going to receive will never be taken away from her. Kire atakacho pokea, hakita ondolewa kwake. Wapendwa, diyo mungu endelea kufanya kazi dani yetu. There is a very important part, the availability to be at the feet of the master. Na hiyo ndiyo shida kubwa tulio na yokanisani siku ya leo. So many of us, we are too busy trying to serve the master kama mother. Lakini Yesu alitambua kazi ambao mother anayofanya, lakini akamwambia you are distracted. These are distractions. You know there are things we can be doing in our lives. They are equally important for God and for the kingdom and for our families, but they are distraction. They are distracting you from the little thing. The little thing is being at the feet of the master. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Haka muambia, mother, you are troubled. Kuna mambo mengi ya nayo kusumbua. Lakini kuna jabo moja ambaro ni important. Some of us, we are not available because we are troubled by house rent. We are troubled by school fees. We are troubled by the projects we have. But there is one important thing. How much time do you have at the feet of the master? Uko na wakati kiasi gani wakukaa miguuni pake. Aweze kukutengeneza. Bwana asifuwe sana. Unajua ye ndiye mfinyanzi na wewe ndiye udongo. Na wewe ni udongo ulio hai. Wengine wangetaka wafinyangwe wakiwa kwa barabara. Badu unafinyangwa na unatebea kwa soko. Badu unafinyangwa na ukokule street kenyata avenue. Hauna time ya kukaa chini. Bwana suwe sana. Do you know in the days we are living in, the most precious thing to get in our time is to have a quiet time with God. The most precious thing. Quiet times are there. The time you want to be quiet before God is the time you are going to bed. And some of you, I can guarantee By the time you lie on your bed, 
if you are now sleeping in the church, na ukilara kwa kitanda, praise the name of the living God. Nigeta kusema ya kwamba, nifupishe, niseme ya kwamba, mungu, anataka kuendelea kufanya kazi ambayo ameaianza dani yetu. Na, ni vizuri kila moja wetu atambue, ya kwamba kuna kazi imeanzishwa dani yako. Na mwenye alie yanzisha, siyo mwanadamu, ni mungu mwenyewe. Na ukimkubalia aendelee kuifanya hakika yuko tiari kwa roho wake. Anatamani hiyo kazi. Unajua kila mtu ako jiras na chenye ambacho anatengeneza. Ndiyo kiweze kumuakirisha vile anavyotaka na vile alivyo. Hakuna fundi anaweza taka kiti ambacho kinaenda kutumiwa kwa njina rake na hakikuisha kwa sababu kitaleta aibu kwa kazi yake. Mungu naye anatamani yamalize kazi hiyo njema alianza ndani yako isimletee aibu. Watu wasiulize Mungu wako wako wapi? Watu waseme hii ndiyo kuokoka. Watu waseme hii ndiyo alisema aliitwa. Mungu hataki aibu na kazi aliyoanza ndani yako. Mungu hataki ku market unfinished product. Hakuna mtu ambaye hufinish kitu ambacho akijaisha. In fact zile vitu ambazo hukosa kuisha ama zinatoka vibaya huwa zinaitwa reject na zinakuanga na bei ya chini wengine tusipokubali tumaliziwe kazi tutakuwa very cheap the work we are going to do is cheap work the glory we can bring to god is not there but if we can allow god to finish the good work that worker can manifest the glory that he desired. Praise the name of the living God. Kama tunaweza kumkubaria, aweze kumaliza hiyo kazi njema. Kazi hiyo inaweza kumletea utukufu ambao ye mwenyewe alitamani. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. I release the hand of the Almighty to continue working in our lives. In this ministry, Lord, we are saying it is not yet over. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are confessing we are not yet done. In the mighty name of Jesus, we invite your mighty power to continue working in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody speak to God uh, this Sunday service uh, and tell God, uh, let the process continue. Let the process continue in my life. Uh, let the process of my making continue. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I declare I am connected to the process uh, of your making. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I declare it is not yet over in my life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, let us rise up on our feet uh, and we declare we are part of the process. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching this program. We know it has been a blessing to you. We highly appreciate your prayers and support. To get Apostle John Kimani's messages in its whole entirety, call the numbers on your screen. God bless you. All the days of my life. I want to gaze upon your beauty